Hi, welcome to the 3D Pendant. Happy Halloween. It's three weeks away. Just enough time for a Halloween project with your 3D pen. So let's make some lanterns. Here are a few things you will need in addition to your pen and filament. Carousel and a few spacers to help you lift your circles. I have my full spacer set in here, but today we will just need spacers 1, 2, 4 and 6. Link for the videos on how to make carousel and spacers is in the description. I like to use color coded printout under my work surface to keep track of my circle sizes. And this is a circle segment of a 3D made mat. Fastest way to make a bunch of perfect circles of specific sizes. And of course we'll need a string of lights. You will have to find out what you can get where you are, but make sure they are LEDs because any bulbs that get hot will melt your project. First you will need to plan the size of the opening in your lanterns, so your particular bulbs will fit inside it. Looks like this will work. So we are ready to go. Yes, this is supposed to be our opening, but I will still connect it to the middle just to keep everything centered while I'm making the balls and then we'll edit it out later at the end. Make sure you let your first two connections solidify completely before you proceed further. top half is done. Now the bottom half will start all the way in the middle and connect first with spacer number one. And then we'll proceed in the same way as before to two and four. Once you made both hemispheres, join the two halves with spacer number six or whatever will give you nice round shape. Cover the ball with wind fill. I have a separate video on tips for this technique, which is above and also in the description. The problem with wind fill is that the strands don't actually attach. It's sort of like winding a ball of string. So make sure you attach the beginning and the end of each wind strand so your ball doesn't unravel.
try not to wind over the opening, but if you do accidentally a little bit, there is a way to fix it later. Now I like to plan my face with pieces of masking tape first. You can do it freehand too, but this allows you to reposition your features and make final decisions about the size and stuff. The surface is quite bumpy, so some of your lines may not be super straight. But it's Halloween. It can be a little scary. your ball, you can see some of the strands are quite loose. The front is now stabilized by the face, but back is a little unstable. So you can make some stabilizing lines along the lines of how the ball was made, which will keep all these loose strands in place. them off at the point where it goes under some stabilizing element so it's safe against unraveling. Another option is to put a face on the other side too which will stabilize it. Time to edit out our opening and we are ready to go. Halloween and subscribe if you would like to see more projects with 3D pen. <laughs> <laughs>